Trout. It's went high and deep toward left field. Span going back, and that is gone. Big fly for Mike Trout. Angels on top one. Gosman delivers, and there's a drive to center field. Hit deep. Back goes Jones looking up, and this ball is gone. Over the 410 foot marker, Mookie Betts. What is up, guys? It is Baseball Nerd. Back with another video. Today, we're going to be looking at Mookie Betts versus Mike Trout. If you see here, we got a tweet by Magic Johnson calling Mookie Betts the best player in the world. Under this tweet, after this night, there was a lot of tweets going back and forth comparing Mike Trout versus Mookie Betts saying, you know, Mookie's got more rings. He's the better player. This and that. Mike Trout doesn't have any rings, so obviously he can't be better. Stuff like that. And that was pretty much the argument I saw a lot. So we're going to break down their stats here. I put the person who has the better stats in green and left the other person in white here. And um, obviously 10 years versus 7 years, 1,252 games versus 849 games. Not really any better or worse stat here. It's just kind of time played. But I am going to just had to highlight green the bigger stat there and saying it's more time. You know, that's all it means. It doesn't, it's not really mean that Mike Trout's better because he played three more years than Mookie so far. That's not what it means. So that's not really a big deciding factor in who's the better player between the two. Now, the one thing that we do have to keep in mind from the years, the games, and at bats is the difference that it makes is, you know, Mike Trout having about, you know, another 30% more games, years, at bats than Mookie. And then, and then kind of averaging that out when it comes to hits and doubles, home runs, all that stuff, if he has at least 30% or more. If he has less than 30% than Mookie in a stat above him, then that kind of, kind of means Mookie is on average, you know, getting ready to pass him if they play the same career length and kept at the same pace that they've started off at. So that's really what we have to look at with the years and the games and the at-bats and stuff like that. Now jumping into the actual hitting stats, we can look straight off, right off the bat, at runs and hits here. So what we can see with looking at the runs is Mike Trout's got 944 to Mookie's 660, and he's got 1,380 hits to Mookie's 1,029. Now Trout's about 30% higher than him on both these stats, so they're pretty much, you know, kind of head-to-head -head for how far into their careers they are. But looking at it, I mean, Trout's more of a, he's been a two and a three hitter a lot of his career. He's not really been a leadoff guy like Mookie has been. So Mookie, I feel like this is a spot where he should be ahead in hits and runs and things like that. So the pace for this here, it looks like Trout's outpacing him as a guy that's not even supposed to be a leadoff, you know, hit for hits and runs kind of guy. He's more of a power hitter now, at least the last three, four, five years of his career. Looking at doubles, they're very close in doubles. I have to give this one to Mookie, even though Trout is about 22 doubles ahead of him. It's just the pace that Mookie's at, three years behind, only being that many doubles behind. It's, it looks like he's on pace to pass him there. As well as triples, I think this one, eh, no, this one probably still goes to Trout. He's got almost 50 triples to Mookie's 27, about double the amount. And then home runs, man, it really shows the difference as Trout's at 302 to Mookie's 155. So Trout literally has double the amount of home runs and about 300 more RBIs than Mookie. When he's sitting at 500, that's that's pretty close to double, not double yet, but still a big chunk greater than Mookie there. So he's outpacing him on home runs, RBIs. Told you he's more of a power guy than Mookie. He doesn't bat lead off like Mookie has for most of Mookie's career. So that there, it shows he's definitely got the power stats. He's definitely more, he's scoring a lot more runs with his bat as far as RBIs go. And then you can drop down to stolen bases. Another thing that people seem to think Mookie's a lot better at, but Trout is outpacing him here as well, even for the year to year game to game average. He's still beating here, him here in stolen bases too. Because if you remember, Trout in the beginning of his career was a terror on the base paths, and he still can do it. I think he was in the 30 30 club not more than three years ago. So he can definitely still steal some bags. Now, going to walks, Trout has about, I think it's 400 and. 43 more stolen base or walks than him here and that's a lot he's definitely got more than double um, the walks here than Mookie which is just a huge stat another thing he's because you're going to see right below us here we got 1,174 strikeouts for Trout and 502 for Mookie Mookie definitely strikes out a lot less than Trout which is a huge up to him that's a huge huge you know bonus to him and it's even on pace I know Trout has three more years three more years of strikeouts but he's still way outpacing Mookie here at the strikeouts but he walks more so that's kind of a conundrum I'm not really sure how that that happens I know Trout's got a good eye obviously maybe he's just a little more of a free swinger I don't know jumping into batting average and on base percentage Trout has Mookie here as well as slugging and OPS now Trout barely has him on batting average but still you know 
that this is these are things that don't really have to be years years and at bats and plate appearances don't really come into factor because they're just you know stats on average so 304 batting average 301 batting average barely beats him out there has a good chunk on the obp on mookie gets on base a little more as well as it has a higher slugging and a perfect ops to mookie's 895 ops so he, he kind of beats him every stat here hitting wise we're just going to jump right into um you know awards and different accolades that are a little more subjective i guess than just straight up stats so mike trout's an eight-time all-star mookie is four time there's a three-year difference where trout had three more years to make it even with those three years if you gave them all to mookie as an all-star he would still be down one to mike trout mike trout was a three times mvp versus mookie's one time i know there's a voting that goes into this but really if you look at it mookie's been second once and trout's been second four times so that means he's gotten first or second seven out of his ten years in the mvp voting which is just insane. He probably got robbed one of those, in my opinion. But, you know, it's okay. He could have four. But he definitely edges him out here as the MVP. And while being on such a team that has made the playoffs once in his whole t- entire career, it kind of makes it even harder to be an MVP. I feel like that goes into a lot of people's voting. If, you know, if your team doesn't really make it, how could you be an MVP? But I still think he deserved all of those, maybe more. Um, rookie of the year doesn't really matter. You know, people don't always have to start off hot their rookie year to matter in the game but trout does have a rookie of the year and mookie does not so now we'll jump into silver sluggers trout has seven mookie has three like i said the three-year difference if you still gave mookie three more years of silver slugger he would still be one behind trout here now gold gloves trout has not won a gold glove yet he has had some really highlight catches you know the one of him leaping in the wall in baltimore and some nice plays like that saving jared weaver and um He's had some good plays. He doesn't have the arm Mookie has. I can admit that. He doesn't have the glove Mookie has. I can also admit that. But Mookie has four gold gloves here, two trouts, zero gold gloves. He beats him here. He's definitely the better defender. It's hands down. You'll see when we get to defensive war as well. But moving straight into just plain old war, Trout's got a 74.4 war career, and Mookie has a 45.2. I know war stacks up over the years, so Trout has three more years on Mookie to go towards his war but he's still like i said he's outpacing him in this even it's more than 30 percent here he is definitely outpacing mookie as well in war if you go to defensive war though this is another thing mookie has on trout defensively he just saves so many runs and has so many great plays in the outfield every night you saw it in the playoffs mookie's a beast in right field so that he definitely is way outpacing trout in defensive war trout is way more of a hitter and so we'll get to the offensive war and you can see it there he's got more than double almost two and a half times the war um, offensively than Mookie does so you can see the last stat there is lead league in offensive category 15 times Mike Trout has done that in 15 seasons and Mookie's only done that zero times so that's a big difference there Trout's led the league 15 times and Mookie has not in an offensive category Trout's also led the MLB 16 times and that's the entire MLB not just the league and Mookie has done that six so he's you know another time three times the amount of times Mookie has done it the first one Mookie's done zero so 15 times then here moving into all-star MVPs Trout has been an all-star MVP twice Mookie has done it zero times Trout has had more chances to be an all-star game however so I do give that to him you know making it a little easier to be all-star MVP but he still did it twice here's where everybody was going under that tweet Mookie has now gotten two rings he's been a world champion twice with the Red Sox with the Dodgers Trout has done that zero times the only argument I could say here for Trout would be that His team's never been as good as the Red Sox were in 2018 or the Dodgers were this year, you know. He's never been on a team that good. And I think baseball is one of the sports, like, it's not like basketball. It's more like football where rings aren't always the determining factor of how great a player is. You know, baseball has a starting rotation, a bullpen, an offense, a defense. There's coaches and every facet of the game taking over their part. And there's just so much going into it compared to, like, a basketball team where there's five guys starting. Yes, there's bench players but there's not that many guys. You're a fifth of the team when you're on the court. So LeBron James comes to the Lakers. He's a fifth of the team. He can make a huge difference. Mike Trout's one-ninth of just a part of the team. There's still the bullpen and the pitching staff and stuff like that. So, you know, I just I don't think you can really completely say that's the end-all, be-all, especially when Trout's beaten Mookie at almost every other category we've put up. I know Mookie here has a one-time. He's been the AL batting title and Trout's never won the AL batting title. So that is one thing to go towards Mickey. Mookie, another thing for him. Trout's also been a two-time Hank Aaron Award winner, and Mookie has never won that. 
Last thing here we're looking at is another leading the MLB in an offensive category. Trout leads career, you know, just players that have ever played Major League Baseball. He has the career best slugging OPS and OPS+. Plus. Obviously, he still has the rest of his career to go. He could lose this, go down, go up, whatever. Mookie leads nothing, which is not a knock against Mookie. It's very hard to lead the career stats in anything, you know, especially when you're an active player in the middle of your career. So that's another thing going towards Trout. And guys, just looking back at this sheet, seeing how many greens we got on Trout's side, I think we could give Mookie the rings. We could give Mookie the defensive. You know, he's got the better glove and arm. But, you know, at the end of the day, Mike Trout's just a once-in-a-lifetime player. And I think he's got to go down, right now at least, as better than Mookie Betts. He's the best player in baseball. Some people argue the best player in history. And I think he has to win this day. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,